Hello guys, this lesson is going to be for our new beginners viewers and today we're going to learn how to create our own user-defined functions in Roblox. Let's get started by going to our service script service. We're going to add a script. To create your own user-defined function, we're going to start with local function followed by the name of the function. Let's call it my function. And we are going to have two parentheses. Hit enter. The N is automatically filled in for you. But if it's not, then you're just going to have to type it in. Now, inside our function, we can tell it to do whatever we want to do. So let's just print hello. This is our user defined function. All it's going to do is going to print hello. And to call this function, we're going to have to come down here. And we're going to say the name of the function. So it's going to be my function. Let's go to our view menu tab and we want to open up the output window and let's play and take a look. Immediately you see it printed hello over here because we called the function my function and the function printed hello. Now notice our function here does not have any input parameter but your function can also have input parameter. For example, you can pass in a name, so you can pass in a single parameter, or if you have more than one parameter, you just use a comma to separate your parameters. So let's say if I pass in a name and a number, right, and I'm gonna say, instead of printing hello here, I'm gonna print name concatenating with the equal sign concatenating that with the number. All right, so when I call my function, I'm gonna have to pass in these two parameters. So let's say if the name is apples, and the second parameter, same over here, I'm gonna use the comma to separate the uh, parameters. And the number is gonna say two, let's say. So now if I press play, and there it is, you can see it says apples equals to two. So basically I'm passing in these two parameters and apples here goes into the name variable and the number two here goes into the number variable. And here we're just printing the name, which is apples, concatenating with the equal sign and the number. And lastly, your function can also return a value. So let's say if we change the name of our function to sum, it's going to take the sum of two numbers. So let's change this first number to A and the second parameter to B. And it's just going to return the sum of a and b so it's going to be a plus b and we're going to come down here we're going to define a new local variable local let's say variable c equals to and then we're going to call this function so it's the function is sum so variable c equals to sum and remember our function has two values, two input parameters. So we're gonna put in, let's say three and five. All right, so we're calling this function sum, right? We're passing in three and five, and this function is gonna return the sum of three and five. So it should return eight. And this value eight is gonna be loaded into this variable C. So let's print out the value of C and let's see if it's if it is 8 so we're gonna print C equals 2 and we're concatenating that with the value of C let's play and take a look and there it is it printed C equals to 8 
and everyone, that's how you create your own user-defined functions in Roblox. Again, if you are a new beginner, don't forget to visit our YouTube channel, PriceCP Roblox, and click on the playlist. Two good playlists for you. First one is new 2022 PriceCP Roblox for new beginner series. Start with that one and then move on to the new beginner series too. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.